Hey, what's up guys and welcome back to another episode. This is one of our how-to videos and Chef's going to show us how to cut peppers and onions. We know this is a popular video out there, but we have some tips and tricks that we think you're going to really enjoy and Chef was excited about making this video. So let's go ahead and get started. The first thing is a couple tips before we get started. First, make sure your knives are washed and dried and very sharp. You want to use sharp knives in the kitchen to avoid any accidents. Next up is the surface. Make sure your cutting board is steady. If it isn't, if it's wobbly, throw a small dish rag underneath and this will stabilize it. Chef's going to show us first how to chop up a pepper. He's going to show us how to avoid that pesky beehive of seeds that sometimes breaks and goes everywhere. Before though, he wants to show you how to make peppers into rings. So lay your pepper down flat and then from the tip up to that seed, just cut into formation. Pretty simple. The one thing he wants to let everyone know is be careful of that stem. If you cut near the stem, you're going to crush that beehive of seeds and they're going to go everywhere and you're going to be washing your hands and everything. So to avoid that, Chef is going to take his pepper that's been washed and dried, place it upright, and he's going to use a smaller knife and just cut down the edges of the pepper, those outside areas, turn the pepper and continue going down very slowly. Before you know it, the pepper will be trimmed up and that beehive of seeds you can just throw right away. And now Chef can cut the pepper to his liking. Next up, Chef's going to show us how to chop an onion. Very simple, but a couple great tips that we want to show you. First, we're going to want to get the onion cut in half. And Chef's using a butcher knife because it's larger, it's more stable. So don't be afraid to use that butcher knife. Once it's cut in half, remove that outer layer, that shell from the onion, and then cut the stem off. Leave the root attached. Then peel back that first layer of the onion, you don't need that. Place it down and stabilize it with your hand. Make two small incisions into the onion up to the root, but don't go through the onion. Just a little bit in. Next, turn your onion and place the tip of the knife up to the root, and then just bring it down and let the weight of the knife do the cutting. Make small incisions all the way down. Don't go too close to the root though, about 95% of the way up. Now, just place your knife towards the edge and bring it down. Use that claw hand to guide you and you'll make those nicely, perfectly chopped onion slice pieces. When you get to the root, all you gotta do is place that root down and then cut around the edges. You'll get everything out of the onion this way. Chef said, very important, do not scrape up the onion with the blade. Turn your knife over and use the back you can dull your un uh, blade or hurt yourself. So use the back of your knife. Next, we're gonna show you how to slice an onion for a non-cooking, for like a salad, or if you're not gonna cook the onion itself. Again, Chef's gonna take his onion, he's gonna cut that uh, tip off, that stem. He's gonna place it stem side down, and then cut straight down the middle. So give you a nice, solid take on that. Again, remove the outside of the onion. And a ch uh, chef has a tip for everyone. If you're getting stuck on that first that peel, just use the heel of the knife to get in that so you don't get the onion in your nails. Now you can cut an onion a couple ways, vertically or horizontally. Most people cut it this way, kind of right with the onion. This is good if you're making a salad. The onion slices are gonna be different uh, variation, uh, different sizes. If you cook them this way, they will turn to mush. So be careful. Again, when you get to the root, just turn it. But again, when you're going against the lines of the onion, that's for a salad. Crumble it up, put it in a salad. If you want to cook your onions, go ahead. We're going to show you how to do that. The first thing, again, you want to get your onion cut in half and peeled like Chef has. But as you can see, he's going to cut off the root and the stem, both of them. And he's cutting with the lines of the onion, kind of pole to pole. And he's doing a radial cut going along with that onion. This will allow the onion to stay more intact when you cook it. When you get to the edge, just flip the onion a little bit and continue to cook, cut. And of course, adjust your knife as you go through the onion. 
And these will stay intact. They're uh, closer to size of each other. And of course, the last one is cutting for onion rings. Very popular if you're going to make onion rings or slices for your burger. This one's different. You're going to keep the onion whole. You are going to cut the tip off, the stem. And then you're going to cut just a little bit of that side of the onion down. Just a small piece. You don't want your onion rolling, so that sliver will let it stabilize. You're going to use your claw hand to stabilize the onion, and then you're just going to make slits all the way down using your knife. Let the knife do the work. Smaller slices will be for hamburgers, things like that. A larger slice, that's going to be your onion rings. And of course, when you get your onion rings set up, all you're going to do is just use your thumbs to just pop the onion rings out, and you'll be set to go. That is definitely a video we want to make is on your ring, so hopefully we'll get that going. And that's pretty much it. So we hope these tips and tricks work. Uh, definitely when you're cutting your onion, if you're cooking it or not, we do hope you watch this video because it's uh, definitely going to be a factor. Thanks again for joining us, everyone, and we're hoping you're enjoying these um, how-to videos that we're making. Thanks again. I'm the narrator. Have a great night.